The unicorns have arrived! Story of my life. Should I also take a picture? Maybe this is the spot of the day. Good morning comrades, in a bit we will be going to the Nürburgring Drift Cup. So lots of smoke action, but I just want to show you that as of actually last week, you can come to Racewear 24 for the Porsche caps. They are 35 euro each and honestly I'm just way too lazy to ship them over. So, and, and yeah, that's why I decided to have them here and come them while they're hot. Okay, let's go to the Nürburgring Drift Cup. Yeah, yeah sorry, keep going. We just park at the end. Oh, dude, we definitely need to get fries. The best part about No King Drift Cup are the fries. I saw you being banging on about for ages, Misha. Oh, that's a unicorn drifting team. Oh, it is, yeah. Is it? That's oh, some that wing. Awful, to be honest. That is some wing. It's nice. So, another welcome to the Middle King Drift Cup, comrades. The second round, and it's called the Big Entry. Big Entry because, well, a big, massive entry. The cars travel all the way down there towards the Dunlop curve and they need to initiate and massively send it. Woo! So I believe the entry speed sometimes close to 200 kilometers an hour. I might be wrong. I, if I am, I will correct myself. I will ask the drivers. Um, yeah, again, we're going to make a separate video with Tom Stamp. Bruno is assisting us with some pictures today. Jack gonna shuffle when someone's gonna go in the gravel, probably. Make, uh, oh, whoa, 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 that was, that was kick-ass. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so since there's going to be like a separate action video by them, I'm going to show you a bit more of the car, some close-ups, some chit-chat, the typical vlog thing. So let's proceed and also make our way to the fries. In addition to yesterday's cars that you've seen from Denmark, there is someone who we haven't seen last time. Oh, that's 1000 horsepower. Oh. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, but all the jokes aside, their main car actually has over 1000 horsepower. Hercules Drift Team MA Motorsport. And yes, it's a compact. Uh, probably in common belief, the ugliest E36 or BMW ever made, the most stupid one, but a lot of people appreciate them. But again, compact, short wheelbase, can you drift it? Apparently, you can. So, let's have a quick look. Ooh, carbon, and look at that. Yeah, full Fast and the Furious, NOS, and in case you don't know how many horsepower, there we have 1059 Hong Kong, no, horsepower. First bad joke of the day, there has to be. Oh, wow, my God. I mean, it's serious when you weld uh, air filter intake, well, turbo intake, and a huge exhaust can it pass the fist test. Of course, it can. But wow, S54, I believe, with a lot of goodies, 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 goodies. Wise fab mandatory air intake. Look at that, minimalistic and actually still, how should I say, practical. It's. It's awesome. It looks it looks great. Fire extinguisher mandatory. Hopefully you will never need it, but who knows? Anything can happen. But I question myself about NOS. NOS! And this is yeah, this is fiberglass. Wow. And a hood scoop. No, roof scoop. Yeah. 675 LT, forget about that. <laughs> The unicorns have arrived! Oh my god, this is so gangster. This is so 90s Russia. It's probably a snow shovel. And again, the most fabulous technical support vehicle of Nürburgring Drift Cup, round two. Story of my life. Make sure to look left and right before crossing the street, kids. <laughs> so if I'm right, the cars go from down there, initiate here because you can see already all the tire marks, initiate there and then have the massive sand big entry drift. So let's see if I'm right. Here we go. Ha 
Just moved into the paddock to show a bit more of the cars here up close in motion. Our friends from Denmark. Best part about the American Drift Cup, for me, it is. When there's a will, there's a way. That's not your average taxi. And I found the owner of this amazing, fabulous taxi, Martin. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, fine, fine. So, could you tell us a bit more about this machine? This is a CLK from 2003, a W209 chassis, yeah. uh, fully rebuilt by us and uh, some of our partners. Uh, it has a M104 engine with a Borg Warner turbo. It produces uh, 792 wheel horsepower and a 950. That's all we need to know. Yeah. 792 <laughs> wheel horsepower. Yeah. So probably like close to 900 on the on the crank. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, That's it. That's. <laughs> Fabulous taxi. <laughs> it's a good taxi. Yeah, yeah. Then we're on a, a dog box from a G Force. A yeah. Tex Racing T100. Okay. Oh wow! Yeah. With a carbon fiber uh, shifter. Oh, carbon fiber shifter. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. So, where do you mostly compete? Uh, in Sweden in... Uh, for the Swedish Drift Championship and uh, got build drift series as well. Yeah. Then we do some uh, standalone events around uh, Scandinavia. Good, I wish you lots of luck. Nice meeting you. And uh, have fun. Where can people follow you? Uh, Is it you like can follow me at Team Lock on Facebook or nice. M Stangberg at uh, Instagram. Nice. And then you also have our website uh, at teamlove.com. Go check it out. Fast forward to Apex. And there is some fancy GTR. But what's more fancy is the amazing Polo driven by Diana. And some other cars that just like turn around every now and then. The track is closed, so you have to drive on the street. So those guys are friends of Oscar. Remember, like a couple of weeks ago, uh, the Ring Taxi driver of the company called Ring Taxi, uh, who I said, "Hey, happy birthday, Oscar!" Well, him. Uh, there's a friends of him, and uh, they came here from Norway with the Volvo Amazon. But with not really a stock Amazon, something that I would, yeah, do some dirty things to to um, to to possess, to drive, to you, you know. But the thing is, they're running E85 like many Scandinavian people do, like I used to do also in Holland, and uh, because E85 is an amazing fuel. Long story short, they came here and realized that it's almost impossible to get any E85 here at the Nürburgring, but luckily we still have had some left, roughly 100 or 120 liters, uh, yeah, so like 30 gallons or something. Because last winter, Von Gitten Jr. came here to drift the Nürburgring, but it was snowy, it was rainy, so it didn't happen, but he released like a video with the Raptor, but he's gonna come back, I believe, in two months to do it again. Hopefully it's gonna be as sunny as now to have some amazing smoky shots. I should actually release the videos that were shot back then because he asked me not to do it until the video would be released and eventually it didn't come because the, the weather didn't happen. So uh, yeah, maybe in the next couple of days there'll be a video about him and his car and how it went down. So there's that. Um, yeah, let's go do some, well, wait for some TF and go to do some TF, yeah. This is definitely the spot of the day for me, ladies and gentlemen. It's like third 190 EVO 2 in two weeks or maybe even one week time. 
That's quite an achievement. Wow, so badass. Hmm, interesting. Skoda record day. Gonna have some lap records with a Skoda. Power. Sabine Schmitz. That would surprise me. Look at that! RX7 all the way from Greece. And some swan neck. Spoiler. Wow. That's pretty special. And by the way, I didn't know that cows can fly. I mean, who else would have done this? Should I also take a picture? Yeah, let's do it. 9 minutes 29.84. Oh, and the LT. I think it's not such a bad result with the Kodiak. Not bad, not bad. Is that our SUV? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, that's yeah, good. Like, that's, yeah, that's good. Good job, Sabine. <laughs> Some JDM goodies. Nice, nice, nice. And some FDM, I guess. French domestic market. Can we call it this way? I guess we can. GD3RS. And look at there. Wow. Like that. Yeah. Nice. Some blues, some whites, some grays with, I don't know, kind of reddish. But then maybe also not. And it's Narbert. Hello. How are you? Thank you. Fine. Good, good. Oh, one more. Same. Same but different. <laughs> Ooh, white bodies. White fenders. M2. Another white body. That's a very wild body. I think we've seen this car earlier last year, I guess. Looks serious for everyone who's been complaining that there are no minis in my vlogs. Minis, minis. Also Audis. And look what I found. That's the Amazon that's using the E85. You can smell it definitely. Look at those wings. I think they probably have a massive spoiler that they had to take off for the, for the TF. Wow. Well, maybe this is the spot of the day. Wow, just no nonsense, no bullshit, this is awesome, and <laughs> the smell of bioethanol, and in case you never smelled it, it just smells pure like alcohol, well obviously it's 85% alcohol and 15% gasoline, so Booster Boris approves a lot, a lot, wow, so probably tomorrow going out for a lap with it, let's see, is this plastic? Yeah, also plastic. <laughs> wow. This is fabulous, fantastic. Rota wheels though. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll leave you to comment on that. But, yeah. Wow. Oh, it's all wheel drive even. Interesting. Wow. Uh, so this is basically like a, just like a full uh, tubular chassis or yeah, what on and on and Amazon body on top. Yes. Wow. So what's the weight? It's uh, 1455. 1450 and, and the horsepower? <laughs> About 1000. You serious? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what? Do you see the turbo? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, what is. We have a water cooled uh, intercooler. It's water cooled. Okay. Because it has no space for a big one. <laughs> and it's four wheel drive also. Yeah, all wheel drive as well. Wow. Ooh. I'm excited. And then a bit of model in the Volvo, a T6, V60. Wow. And an S2000, another JDM goodie. And we are back in the manual F80 M3. Yay. Back at Apex, all the cars are back in one piece. Also the fabulous Swedish M2 is back in one piece. All the cars are back in one piece. Oh, look at that, very nice RS5. 
and the Carrera and a Volvo. Wow. Is that your alarm? <laughs> security. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> it is, cannot disagree. <laughs> anyway, what should I say? The birds are singing nicely, the sun is setting down. It's been a wonderful, fabulous day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Just one more thing I want to show you. There was a suddenly black box came in and I'm like, ooh, what's this? And oh, it's a t-shirt. Ah! The whole message is there. That's the whole point of this video. Well, I, I, maybe I should stop vlogging. I mean, I'm very bad at this. Okay, take two. Oh, Capnini. Hi, Misha. This is your Capnini t shirt. And this is based on a Tyrell P34, you know, the six wheels car. Um, and so, this is the new company that sent me this. Cool, thanks a lot. And basically, if you want to check out their website, and if you use the code Misha10, you get 10% discount. Awesome. I always liked the Tyrell. I mean, when I was a kid. No, I wasn't even born, I think, when they were running. What was Tyrell running? Tyrell? Yeah, the, T, the, the T34, the, the six-wheeled F1 car. Oh, Tyrell? Yeah. Tyrell? <laughs> I thought that was like some guy. Um, Why was he running for president? Yeah, who was he? Um, 80s? Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, yeah. okay. Well, Tyrell. Yeah. Should I redo the shot? No, I'm, I'm keeping it real. I mean, someone else would just like cut and redo. No, I cannot make mistakes. But we're all human. Nothing bad about making mistakes. Nothing bad about crashing cars. It's bad, but as long as you admit it. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting melancholic. Let's go get some food and see you guys tomorrow when we are going to do the same. Again, yeah, tomorrow qualifying of Nubican Drift Cup. We have to film that, so uh, we'll show you some more drift cars and then again some TF and uh, yeah, we'll see. Variety of content. I hope so soon. Yeah, yeah, bye. So what's what's happening? What what what's there's too many questions. Ah